trip in today. <laughs> Let's take a final daily walk with uh, Chloe the dog and talk about some behind the scenes bike camping stuff. Come in, Chloe. <laughs> you coming, girlfriend? <laughs> Are you so cute? Are you so adorable? <laughs> You're so adorable. Eee! Come on, let's go. I've gotten a couple questions about crazy Katie, who usually walks with me. Um, she's doing great. Um, I'm sure most of you who know her know she was really sick uh, last week. But she's doing so much better. She's, she's actually back to normal. But uh, we would just like her to get a little bit more rest, maybe gain a couple more pounds. She lost some weight while she was sick. But she looks great. She's feeling great. She's just getting some special attention and some care and some rest while we're gone. And then hopefully when we're back, she'll be back to her usual running around crazy fetching self. <laughs> but in the meantime, we have Chloe to walk around with. Right, Chloe? Are you a good girl? Chloe, are you such a good girl? Oh, what you got? What are you looking at? Oh, look, it's windy in North Dakota. Who knew? <laughs> So I've had some stuff in storage for the past few years, <laughs> living uh, the homeless nomad life that I have been living. Um, but at the beginning of the year, my son and I actually moved it closer to where he lives and works. So it's in a new storage area, which is a great storage area. However, <laughs> when we first moved stuff over there, it was like $30 a month. It was like a special deal they were having. And, they, and then they said after three or four months, they were gonna raise the price to like $60. But it wasn't $60, they actually raised it to $72. And then on top of that, several months ago, they just raised it out of the blue, didn't even give a warning, to $92. So within a year, the price went from 30 to 92. Well, it actually, it hasn't even been a year yet. So yeah, it went from $30 to $92. The thing is, I don't have a lot of stuff. My son doesn't have a lot of stuff in there. You know, both of us combined sort of filled it. But, um, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, don't don't put stuff in storage, it's such a waste. You know, the thing is, is that I don't have a lot of stuff, but what I have is very important to me. It's just older photos and knickknacks from my family, family memories. So I'm glad I kept it, but at the same time, I'm gonna be based out of North Dakota now. There's no reason to pay about $100 a month for like a very small closet of a storage unit, no. <laughs> so we're leaving in a few hours to go to Colorado and I'm interested to do it. It'll be my first drive in between North Dakota and Colorado because I'll be going back and forth quite often and I'm interested to see what the drive is like. <laughs> so we're doing that. We're gonna go pick up my stuff this weekend and then just head back. <laughs> Road trip, let's go.